Hey, what's going on, man? Let's talk about restaurants reopening. I hope you're excited about this as I am. Now I know that not all of them closed. Some of them stayed open, did curbside service only. Some of them taught themselves how to do deliveries, and they've done it very well. Others outsourced delivery systems. They've strived. They've done extremely well. But for some customers or businesses, I do have customers there are restaurants. I'm in the restaurant business. But for some, it just didn't make sense to stay open during this pandemic. So they had to shut their doors. Well, recently, they've been able to reopen. Now, they had to maintain social distancing, and they had to put certain procedures and processes in place to keep the employees and customers safe. And they've done that. They've done very well. Now, here in Texas, starting June 3rd, they were able to go from 25% occupancy to 50% occupancy. And if all goes well, on June 12th, they can go to 75% occupancy. See, again, as long as they're maintaining social distancing. So what does that mean for us? They're trying to live a healthier lifestyle. You know, we're trying to lose weight or just be healthier in general. Does that mean we can't go to restaurants? No, we can go to restaurants. Now, number one, you have to make the decision. Are you going to indulge or are you going to stay on the path? There's not a wrong answer. You got to make this as less restrictive as possible. Now, I'm not an expert, guys. I'm just trying to live healthier, and I'm just sharing my experiences and what I'm going through. So make the decision. Is this going to be a cheat day, or am I going to stay the path? Does this mean I can't go enjoy a family time at a restaurant? No. Go do it. If you need the chips and sauce, if you need the chili cheese fries, if you need to you know, have a cheat day, get out of your system and get right back on the path. Now, if this is going to trigger three to four days in a row of being on the wrong path, then maybe you should rethink that. However, if you can do just one meal, enjoy it, get out of your system, and hop right back on the horse, then that's the path that you should take. All right, so if you want to stick to your diet, if you want to stick to a healthier lifestyle and go out and enjoy, what do you do? We're in the information age. You can find just about anyone's menu online. So do your research before you go. Plan what you're going to have and stick to the plan. Remember, their job is to upsell you. Their job is to get you to get that appetizer, to get that big meal, to get the dessert. You have to stay the course. So do the proper planning ahead of time. When you get there, don't be afraid to ask questions. Now, I, this was me, guys. I, I would be the one that, okay, I'll just take it how it comes. Well, these restaurants, man, they want your business they want you to come back they want to accommodate you so don't be afraid to ask your questions they know if they take care of you you're going to come back so ask hey what kind of oils do you cook your food in what kind of seasonings do you put on what's in your sauces can i get those on the side because you don't know how much they're portioning you know put it on the side do your own portioning take control of what you put in your body so just put it on the side man if the meal's too big don't be afraid to take some of it to go hey now you got your big time money's worth man you got you know a meal there and you got a meal later maybe stay away from buffets <laughs> if you think like i do i'm gonna get my money's worth out of a buffet that means i gotta go back two or three four times i'm getting my money's worth so maybe we should stay away from buffets but regular regular restaurants man dine-in services i think they're okay are you as excited as I am that these restaurants are opening back up? Do you count as, as an indulgence or do you stick the course? What are some tips that you do when you go out to eat? I'd love to hear it. Please put those in the comments below. If you found value in this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel to come along this healthier lifestyle journey with me. And for a, a meatball recipe that I did with some ground beef and eggs, super simple. Hey, check out this video right here. Until next time, God bless and keep grilling.